The 23rd annual Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic kicked off in Atlanta, Georgia on September 24, 2011. Southern University and Florida A&M University took the field on Saturday afternoon to restore their longtime rivalry at the Georgia Dome in hopes of bringing the trophy back to their city. But as we have come to learn, the weekend isn't just about a game. The 100 Black Men of Atlanta and the Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic want to make sure the students, fans, players, and community members are not only entertained, but also informed on current events, political issues, health facts, and other important topics surrounding their community. Things kicked off Thursday morning with the Youth Symposium presented by McDonald's. The symposium helped to establish an environment that caters to empowering males towards success and how to make their dreams come true. The message was simple, um, strengthen your mind, strengthen your body, be healthy, prepare for success, and dream. Uh, not just dream, but you gotta work towards making your dream a reality. It's important to me, um, as being someone that considers himself to be an advocate of the community, uh, a philanthropist, to come out and speak with kids, to maybe have one of them hear my message that will help them become uh, an important, successful person uh, in their life. The Classic Robotics Showcase, an invitational presented by Georgia Power, helped start the day on Friday. The event highlighted 10 new robotics teams that were developed during the 100 Black Men of Atlanta's 2011 Summer of Invention and Innovation. The robots, yeah, and, and what we tell them, that's our way of tricking them to do math and science. It's almost like eating vegetables, and your parents use a little cheese on the broccoli, so the robots happen to be our cheese. Throughout the day on Friday, the Celebrate Health, Celebrate Living Fair presented by Abbott Laboratories quickly filled up with people seeking health advice and education along with participating in on-location screenings and assessments. The whole goal was promoting health awareness and really trying to encourage students and their parents to really take a look at how they can improve their lifestyle, nutrition, and fitness. With football being the focus of this weekend, we really talked to the kids about the idea that to play football you have to be fit and healthy and that requires that you eat right, and that requires that you get moving. Community involvement and lending out a helping hand to those around you is extremely important to the Atlanta Football Classic and the 100 Black Men of Atlanta. But of course, we all know there's room to have a little fun, which brings us to the big day, Saturday, September 24th, 2011. You know what I did, son? It all kicked off early Saturday morning on the streets of downtown Atlanta for the Parade of Excellence presented by Kia, where the 100 Black Men of Atlanta and the Atlanta Football Classic seek to recognize the academic achievements of students throughout Georgia's public school system. After the parade, people made their way over to the Georgia Dome to check out the fan experience, featuring the Coors Light Cool Zone and several other Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic Weekend sponsors, including Coke Zero. Another highlight of the fan experience was the AT&T Lounge that featured an AT&T stroll-off contest hosted by Ricky Smiley. Give it up for the and the AT&T MC Battle, hosted by Big Tigger, featuring celebrity guest judges, The Brat, Jazzy Faye, and Vaughn. I don't do it for that. I do it for the kick, run up on the mic, throw it down, leave it in the mix. I'll let you know, you know what I mean, it's just gonna murder the crowd. But that was great, that was good. Hey, thank you. The winner of the AT&T MC Battle is Chris Levinson. Once inside, the Atlanta Football Classic was roaring with excitement. Southern University and Florida A&M finally took the field, both looking for a victory and both realizing they're playing for much more than a trophy. 
Throughout the game, fans were delighted to sing and dance along to the award-winning bands The Human Jukebox of Southern University and The Rattlers Marching 100 as they performed during the McDonald's Halftime Show. It was a back and forth battle, but in the end, Florida A&M was able to pull off a come from behind win, regaining their title as the winner of the Atlanta Football Classic by a final score of 38 to 33. The three day event was a remarkable success, none of which would have been possible without the 100 black men of Atlanta, Bank of America, the participating schools and the other contributing sponsors. In addition, the Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic had national television coverage for the fourth year in a row, airing on Versus and reaching over 75 million households. Proceeds from the event were able to distribute over $1.2 million to the two participating universities and the 100 Black Men of Atlanta's Project Success, a revolutionary mentoring program that prepares at-risk students for college and then pays for their tuition. The Bank of America Atlanta Football Classic is an experience of a lifetime that offers entertainment, education, philanthropy, and fun. It's truly a September weekend you'll never forget.